and welcome to another edition of Zilliqa Zebra. Are you unsure how to stake on the Zilliqa blockchain? Or are you confused with what Gzeal is and how to earn it? Let Zilliqa Zebra help. In this video, I'm going to share with you some great tips on how often you should claim your staking rewards and how to maximize your profits from Zilliqa staking. Now, in this short video, I'm going to share with you a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to share with you what Zilliqa staking is. Number two, I'm going to show you how to stake Zilliqa step by step on one of your preferred seed nodes. Number three, I think that it's very important to understand the APR, so I'm going to spend some time to explain what the APR is and how it impacts you. Number four, a lot of you are confused with what GZIL is, and so I'm going to spend a little bit of time to explain what is GZIL and how you can earn it. Number five, I'm going to share a little bit more of how you can claim your rewards, or rather, how often you should claim your rewards, whether it's on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a monthly basis. Next, I'm going to share with you one fantastic uh, calculator, which is a real-time calculator that allows you to plan right, your staking rewards. And last but not least, uh, I will share some with you some great tips on how to maximize your staking rewards. And as usual, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Zilliqa Zebra for more useful news, updates, and the latest insider tips on all things Zilliqa. What is staking? To get a better grasp of what staking is, you will first need to understand how proof of stake or POS works. POS is a consensus mechanism that allows blockchains to operate more energy efficiently while maintaining a distant degree of decentralization, at least in theory. Let's dive into what POS or proof of stake is and how staking works. If you're familiar with how Bitcoin works, you're probably familiar with the proof of work or POW. It is the mechanism that allows transactions to be gathered into blocks. Then, these blocks are linked together to create the blockchain. More specifically, miners compete to solve a complex mathematical puzzle, and whoever solves it first gets the right to add the next block to the blockchain. Proof of work has proven to be a very robust mechanism to facilitate consensus in a decentralized manner. However, the problem is it involves a lot of arbitrary computation. The puzzle that the miners are competing to solve serves no purpose other than to keeping the network secure. One could argue then, this, it, it, this in itself makes this excess of computation justifiable. At this point, you might be wondering, are there any other ways to maintain the decentralized consensus without the high computational cost? One of the biggest advantages of staking is that even a naive user who doesn't have many assets can opt for stake. Whereas in case of mining, one needs to have costly hardware and requires high power consumption which makes it beyond the capacity of the simple users. Coin holders can also validate transactions on the network. Staking offers reward their an additional source of income. Staking is an energy efficient process in that it doesn't require huge amounts of electricity, which is better for the earth. No specific hardware requirements such as uh, ASIC. Last but not least, it reduces the 51% attack commonly experienced by miners. In this way, what really determines which participants create a block isn't based on their ability to solve hash challenges as it is with the proof of work. Instead, it's determined by how many staking coins they are holding. Some might argue that the production of blocks through staking enables a higher degree of scalability for blockchains. This is one of the reasons the Ethereum network is planned to migrate from POW to POS in a set of technical upgrades collectively referred to as the ETH 2.0. Before you proceed, it is necessary to have a few things to stake the cryptocurrency Zilliqa. First of all, you will need a wallet that supports Zilliqa. And we recommend ZillPay, but it's also possible to use the ledger. You need at least 100 Zilliqa or Zill on the wallet. This is because it is necessary to have the relative Zill required for the fees, which will also be used for withdrawal and unstaking. The next step will be to unlock the wallet, and we will use ZillPay for this, and of course, to go to the platform dedicated for the staking. To start your staking, go to the URL 
stick.zilliker.com. Then, choose one of the stick seed notes or SSN to stick your zil. The stick seed notes or SSNs are variant of seed notes. SSNs are run by staking partners and are expected to serve JSON RPC requests from the community. In return for the service, these notes are regularly given staking rewards in the form of zils. Staking rewards are then determined based on the performance of the SSN. For example, if you are using Atomic Wallet, you can directly receive zil from any exchanges such as Binance or CoinHako. For myself, I'm actually using both exchanges. What I do is, I'll purchase the Zilliqa coins or Zilliqa tokens from these exchanges and then withdraw them into the Atomic Wallet for my own staking. In this similar manner, you can also stake your zil within the application itself. To do your staking, click on the staking button. That will bring you the interface here. Now, you will be able to see the amount of Zilliqa that you have and you are able to click on the stake all button. But I will advise you not to do that. Remember to set aside some of Zilliqa for the network fee. Because network fee is always incurred when you claim your staking rewards. So if you invest everything into staking, you will not have any Zilliqa to do the necessary claiming of the rewards. The staking itself may take a day or two or even slightly longer to happen. Once that happens, you will be able to see the amount that you are able to stake. Now, when that happens, you can then click on this claim button to claim all the staking rewards into your pool. Now, take note of the network fee that you will need to pay in order for this transaction to take place. Of course, you can also unstake your zeal and then withdraw the money for profit. However, you cannot do it immediately as the transaction to unbond the funds will take about 24,000 blocks or about 10 days. So, to do this, you have to make sure that you have finished claiming all your rewards. Then, click on the unstake button to begin the unstaking process. Staking profits depends a lot on the percentage of return a validator provides per annum, aka the APR or the annual percentage rate. When the staking feature is provided by wallets or exchanges, it's usually told what the percentage of the profits are. Percentages are usually given on a daily, monthly, and annual basis. The APR is very important as it varies from time to time. So, what causes the APR to vary? Depending on the value, the related APR will change as follows. It will be about at 49% if 10% of the overall supply is blocked. This drops to 25% if 20% of the supply is blocked. It further goes down to 17% if the 30% of the supply is blocked. And then, of course, it goes even lower to 13% if the 40% of the supply is blocked. And it goes down as low as 10% if 50% of the supply is blocked. At this current moment, on 16 February 2021, the current APR is at 14.65% and is likely to decrease over time as more of the supply is blocked. As you can see, the circulating supply that we have right now is 32.7%, which is about slightly lower in between this 30% and 40%, and that's the reason why the APR is between 13% and 17%. As more and more supply um, is being pushed into staking, this amount will just go lower and lower, and the return you're going to have will actually decrease over time. GZIL, short for governance ZIL, is a ZRC2 compliant fungible token contract. The rationale behind issuing GZIL is to capture long-term token holders and give them access to governance tokens that they can later use to make ecosystem-wide decisions. Its maximum supply is 722,700 tokens and the reward duration is one year with effect from 14th October 2020. GZIL derives part of its value from scarcity. Hence, you will only be issued for one year, as mentioned, with the launch of the non-custodial zeal, with the objective of incentivizing early birds. Zilliqa will control the minting and the distribution of GZIL. GZIL will only be issued when a user withdraws their zeal staking rewards from the designated SSN operator. Hence, for every 1,000 zeal earned as staking reward, one GZIL will be issued. Or in short, 
0.001 GZIL will be issued for every one ZIL staking reward. So, you may ask yourself, how much is the GZIL coin worth? As of 16 February 2021, one GZIL token can be exchanged for about uh, 108 US dollars. Its all time high was about 123 US dollars on the 11th of January 2021. Hence, you can see that it's actually pretty valuable. The real question that we all like to ask is, how often should we claim staking rewards? A user by the name of Book Administrator did a very helpful calculation using a Google spreadsheet. He made examples for daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and yearly computations. Compounded interest comes into play when you do a restake, but the fees take away all the potential that you may have, so your frequency matters a lot here. However, the less time your earnings are earning, the entire concept starts to get very hard to fit into a very simple thought. It seemed to him that if you have less than 12,420 Zilicus stake, you should not be claiming rewards on a daily basis. As the, as the year goes on and the real-time rate or APR goes down, this number will not be accurate, but it's more like a better-than-nothing attempt to give you a close estimate. In fact, if you are planning to do some serious Zilica staking, you might want to check out the real-time staking calculator at My Zilica Wallet. The calculator is a useful tool which takes into consideration your potential GZIL earnings. It then calculates the estimated annual returns factoring the returns from GZIL. In fact, using this example here, if you invest 100,000 ZIL at 14.2 APY, you should get an estimated annual value including GZIL of 3,372 US dollars with an estimated actual APY of 26% which is really fantastic. With lots of great projects coming up for Zilliqa, you are not only capturing the yield from staking, but also the price appreciation of Zilliqa itself. So, how can you maximize your profits from the staking rewards? First of all, start early to capture more GZIL and benefit from a higher APR. If you have yet to start, it is not too late. You can try buying a few hundred dollars worth of Zilliqa and stake it in your preferred SSN. Secondly, to claim your rewards regularly, bear in mind the network fees. Remember, if you hold less than 12,420 Zilliqas, you might want to wait longer to claim the rewards in order to maximize the compounding gains. Thirdly, continue to accumulate at the lows and stake them immediately so as to leverage the compounding effect. I hope that this video has been useful for everyone who is taking Zilliqa. If you are looking for any other assistance on any topics related to Zilliqa, feel free to drop me an email at zilliqazebra at gmail.com and I will do my best to create an educational video around that topic. Bye for now.